Hello my soccer universe! For another collection video, now during the national break, we are of course looking at international teams and we'll start this international break off with the world champions, of course the reigning ones, but we're not looking at that jersey, we're looking at the one from 2006-2007 at the World Cup, worn at the World Cup in Germany and if you would ask me, they were the best team at that World Cup. However, Germany ousted them, but that's the jersey that we're going to look at. Uh, before we're going to look into more detail, how did I get this jersey? I remember this very distinctively during the pandemic. It was towards the end of the first month of being in lockdown. And I had been holding off on buying at that point um, because we were not quite sure how things are going to develop. However, I found an incredible package deal. I want to say it was 25 euros for four shirts. One of it was just a regular sports shirt. Uh, one of which was a brilliant Roma Champions League jersey from the early 2000s. There was also the Chelsea 2006 home to 2008 home jersey in there. And then the one that I was actually least interested in, this particular Argentina jersey, at least interested for two reasons. Uh, a I already had two Argentina home jerseys. I didn't necessarily see a need for another one. Yeah, watch that space. And also, I have to say, I was never really a big fan of that. But as I said, yeah, this is the other team guys template that was uh, that came out there. So maybe for that reason, it's an interesting one. As we will see, it does have a few flaws, but for the overall price and considering that, you know, it is in a way a shirt from a World Cup where they were actually really good, despite then it ending all a little bit in infamy. Let's edit. But it was all about the Roma shirt <laughs> in that one. Okay, I would say we'll have a little bit of a closer look on the particularities of that particular shirt. Okay. Uh, moving a little bit closer, Team Geist, of course, we have the Team Geist logo here on the sleeves. Uh, here it is just all in uh, light blue on white. I actually like the overall color scheme of the, of the shirt and it's actually uh, even lighter blue than usual. And if you haven't uh, watched Argentina shirts, the blues tend to, it's not never the same color. Uh, so we have the classic Argentina stripe, we have the white in the middle as they had in 1986. However, where I think this jersey falls a little bit short is while we have this outline from the Team Guys Temple, which I think is fine, why do we have a blue shoulder yoke and then white sleeves and then adding it up here? I think this would look a whole lot cleaner if the shoulder was white or if you went all blue here. I think this shoulder yoke makes it look messy. I do like though the insert here where we have a slight flag detail, however this is just a plastic stripe uh, that's uh, ironed on, uh, which yeah, give or take. Um, also it would definitely look better with a number right here because to keep it a little bit balanced with the Adidas logo centered. Uh, we have this golden outline which I actually really really like. But that is so, it's, it's so typical for the mid 2000s. We have a striped shirt, but it doesn't really fit the template very, very well. Because if you look here on the side, or, 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 or let's do it this way, we have here the white outline, and we have here a blue sliver that's coming from the side stripe being, then it goes all the way around, and then it comes up again. So that actually does not really fit the, uh, the striped uh, pattern overall. And uh, also on the sleeve, it kind of looks a little bit messy because, you know, we could have left it just uh, white or light blue. Maybe it, this would have been better if this was all light blue here. Uh, it would look fine. Of course, this is not what Adidas wanted because at that time uh, it's still a little bit prevalent. But at that time you want to actually highlight every little panel. And in a way, that's what they're doing here. So yeah, that's why it was never one of my favorites. You see uh, up close, it is a little bit in a rough shape. You know, we have some pull, uh, one pull here, one pull here. Then the whole, this material here um, snags very easily. So there are quite a few snags coming here. There's one pull uh, down, down here. So it's definitely not in perfect con con condition, especially 
twist the tail of the jersey uh you see a few threads come, coming out the guy who owned this jersey has definitely been using it uh but you know it's a good excuse to wear it what i do like however about this one is that on the sleeve cuffs there are arches in the flags uh which the away jersey also had the away jersey is the one of that particular uh of, of that set that i like actually better i think it looks all a teeny bit cleaner on the back although i still still think you know light blue let it go light blue here i still th i really think if the sleeves were light blue this could have uh, looked quite nice i really like how the gold actually separates the two panels here um and yeah more threads here that come out yeah it's again it's not the best uh condition in i actually thought this might be a good opportunity but never got got to it for me to try uh, what to do with those threads and maybe make even a little maintenance video out of it the one thing i know is don't cut this you want to get the thread on the other side and take it from there uh duplicity we have here this little sliver here with this little, little sliver here which to me makes no sense it is just there because it can be uh but yeah so be it so at the World Cup in 2006, this shirt was worn on three occasions. Argentina was unbeaten in those ones. This was in the opener, 2-1 against the Ivory Coast. Uh, I think it was played in Hamburg then in Frankfurt. I was in Frankfurt for that one, but not in the stadium. They played out a 0-0 against the Netherlands wearing this one. And then also in the round 16 in Leipzig, they beat Mexico with the uh, wonderful Maxi Gonzalez goal uh, to win it in uh, overtime. That is what this jersey is best remembered for they got an eliminated against germany when they were wearing the dark blue away jersey again that's the one uh, i really would like to have that one uh, more than this one however you know it is a classic world cup argentina shirt i have not the tag down there of course i have not shown that in the video but it's it's also kind of a nice fee fee feature that it is kind of in the uh the flag has been incorporated there but yeah, that's it. The Argentina 2006-07 home jersey. What do you think about this jersey? Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a line if you have a memory associated with that other than the ones that I've told you here. I'll surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.